Hi everybody. Today we are making one of the coolest DIYs to me, maybe not to you. Today I'm showing you how to make an actually really great setting spray. I'm really obsessed with this because it's really hard to spend money on a bottle of spray water. Like I do it, don't get me wrong. I love me a setting spray just as much as the next person. Every time I go to buy one, I'm like, why? Why, why am I doing this? This is so stupid. I'm sure there's a way to make this. And boom, there's my segue. There is a way to make it. And it is like between you and me, it's just as good. You're gonna need aloe, witch hazel, an optional essential oil, an optional moisturizing oil, and a container. A container that you already have around from a used up setting spray is perfect, but I actually got mine at kind of a natural grocery store. So if you have one of those around, let me just give you the best tip ever because those natural grocery stores often have the most awesome DIY stuff. So check that out, but if you have to, it's extremely simple to get things on Amazon. As you know, I'm not telling you anything new. Now it's time to use the aloe. And I would definitely say if you have an aloe plant around, use that for sure. I'm a plant murderer. I cannot keep them alive. I even murdered some cactuses, some cacti that my mom gave me. So like, I don't have an aloe plant around. But if you do, perfect, use it. You don't have to have exact measurements. So whatever you have will be fine. Fill your spray bottle about a quarter of the way. And obviously if your spray bottle is bigger, you're gonna need more aloe. Next, take some witch hazel and pour it in until you get to the halfway mark of your bottle. Just shake it together until the aloe and witch hazel combine. Now these next few steps are optional. You could add an essential oil at this point. If you wanna use this as more of a skincare item for before bedtime, I'd say some lavender would be nice, don't you think? or as you, if you want it as kind of more of a pick-me-up spray for the morning, like I do. Uh, I use peppermint oil, but just a heads up, if it's a stronger essential oil like peppermint, go easy. Two drops, max. Now also if you have dry skin, like I do, you could add a moisturizing oil. I just added a few drops of argan oil, just mostly to test it out. Um, but you could use vitamin E and actually I can't really think of anything else. Vitamin E or argan oil would be great. After that, just fill up the rest of your bottle with water and give it the most vigorous shaking of your lifetime. It is a little bit difficult to get the aloe to blend with everything else. And that's it, that's all you have to do. There is a slightly different DIY setting spray that I'm going to actually do within the next few weeks. I'm just waiting for a few ingredients to arrive in the mail. This one I, I would say makes a nice setting spray. It works really well to take away that kind of powdery look, but also a really nice skincare type spray. Though I wouldn't say it's the most heavy duty actual setting spray. So if you guys have any questions or you try this, send me pictures on my Instagram. You can just tag me and I will see them. If you want to subscribe, I would absolutely love to have you. And if you want to receive notifications when I post a video, you just have to hit the bell. I post a DIY every Friday at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you guys soon. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Bye.